I got this pocket knife as part of a flea market dollar bin purchase. The scales looked intact, but the pin seemed a little out of whack. The markings on the main blade were hard to read. The main blade was worn and rusty, but I've had much worse. The smaller blade was super tight. The bent liner was probably part of the problem. Scraping out somebody else's old pocket lint is always a little bit gross. The inside was pretty corroded. So I opted to hose it down with WD-40. I used some coarse steel wool and my trusty shave down popsicle stick to work on the rust. Check out how much liquefied patina came out on the first rinse. These grooves in the nail pull were apparently intended to be a match striker. Before safety matches became the norm, everybody used strike anywhere matches. I started sanding the blades with 180 grit wet and dry and WD-40. The wood block takes the stress off the pivot while I sand. Here's one side sanded with 180. And here's the other side, untouched, for comparison. I noticed the point of the blade was protruding when closed. By filing off some material here, I could make the blade close further in. I was able to adjust the close position with just a little bit of filing. Much better. I attempted to straighten the bent liner with the help of my popsicle stick. I think I improved it some. Then I used a small file to make it look a little better. It seemed like the nail nick was too shallow on the small blade. I thought this also might have been making it hard to open. I deepened and widened the groove with my Dremel. This made the blade much easier to open. I used a punch to center the pivot pins in the bolsters. One of the bolsters had some bad nicks that I had to smooth with a file. Here's the pocket knife with the blades and bolsters sanded down to 600 grit. I used my homemade ultra-fine Scotch-Brite discs in my Dremel to blend in the sanding lines.
the ultra fine scotch bright leaves a nice matte finish. But we want a shiny high polish, right, Chuck? Chuck? Ah! Blitz it! All right, Chuck. But we got to use up the old tube first. I use my trihone to sharpen the blades. I like to use masking tape to protect the blades from scratches while I sharpen. Viewers have asked about this hone. It's a Smith's trihone. I got it at Cabela's, but I'm sure it's available online. I took each blade through all three stones. Vintage carbon steel blades are a pleasure to sharpen. As a finishing touch, I coated the plastic scales with Mother's Back to Black. I thought this old pocket knife was a good find for 50 cents. I'm really happy with how it turned out. The main blade doesn't snap open like it did when it was brand new but it still has plenty of life left. The carbon steel blades on these vintage pocket knives are easy to sharpen and hold an edge well. And the bolsters look way better than they did. In 1940, Powell took over the cutlery division of Remington Arms. Powell produced thousands of fixed blade combat knives during World War II. And they manufactured official Boy Scout knives from 1941 to 1942. Pocket knives stamped Powell Cutlery Company, made in USA, date from 1941 to 1953, when the company went out of business. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I think I won this Hammer Brand Camp Knife on eBay. The blades were in good shape, but the scales needed work. These knives have removable hubcap style scales. I banged out some dents, sanded, and painted the scales. I used Tester's Flat Green Enamel with a Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Coat.